Hello everybody, hope you're all having a great weekend and thank you for tuning in. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, I've been to Home Bargains again and I got myself a wee six pack of lagers to uh, review and try out because I've never tried them before, never seen them before. So I thought I'd grab them in case they disappear and I miss out on the opportunity. Um, here's a little look at the beer. It's a Mexican lager, this one. It's called, it uh, says, Cerversa dos Equis. Something like that. That's my interpretation of what it says anyway. Then you've got two X's. Dos Equis, double X, Lagra Especial. Sounds like a sort of beer they bring out over here in the UK and pretend it's Spanish or something, doesn't it? Like Madri. 4.2% uh, ABV, this one. Uh, and it has been brewed in Mexico. Um, six bottles of this cost me £3.99 in home bargains. And apparently that was half price. That's another reason why I thought I'd grab them. Hopefully it's good, because I've got another five bottles in the fridge. Uh, it says on the back here, uh, I did have a little read of it. I won't read the whole thing, but basically... A German fella went over to Mexico. He knew how to brew beer and all that, and he apparently helped him out to uh, brew this beer a couple of hundred years ago, and he, uh, using his German knowledge of brewing beer and adding a little Mexican charm into it, apparently. The bottle cap, we've got two X's there. X marks the spot. So, uh, let's crack it open and get on with it, shall we? Let's uh, see if we can get a wee head shot. Oh, no, just bounced off back in the hand. Can only try. It's in a lovely green bottle. It's not looking good, is it? Uh, right, let's get it in the glass. Let me know if you've tried this one, guys. Is it popular in Mexico or what? I've never heard of it. First time I've ever seen it. So, uh, literally going in with a complete open mind, with no idea about any sort of reputation or anything when it comes to this beverage. It's a. Uh, it's got a white, foamy looking head. Uh, no sort of average sort of levels of carbonation for a lager, I would say. Quite a pale golden, could say straw colour. Whatever you like. Uh, let's have a little whiff, shall we, and check out the aromas. It doesn't smell particularly yummy. It smells as corny, a little bit syrupy. Uh, it reminds me of like uh, freshly cut grass. I'm not getting no hop in it, really. Yeah, yeah, it's a lager though, isn't it? You know, some of them literally don't smell like nothing, but then they taste all right. Let's hope it's at least refreshing. Oh, it's a, how do you say cheese in Mexican? God knows, I don't think it's going to be on my sign. Uh, da, da, da. Mexico, they speak Spanish, didn't they? Yeah, of course they do. Salud. Salud, everybody. Bosh. Let's get down in it. Um... Right. First, <laughs> the first impression of this so-called beer. I think I've reviewed about 400 beers or something on this channel. Something like that. Or close to it. Of all the beers I've reviewed... All different types, all around the world. This is the closest beer I've ever found to a glass of water. Literally, it's got the mouthfeel of a glass of water. It's not next to no taste in this beer whatsoever. It's unbelievable. I mean, this makes beers like Bud and uh, stuff like that seem flavoursome it's unbelievable it really is put it this way a couple of weeks ago um i didn't review it but i tried uh alcohol free becks uh which is obviously 
zero percent and that had way more flavor than this does i mean it's 4.2 percent so i wasn't expecting it to be like the most flavors and beer in the world it's it is just absolute piss water this is the, the definition of piss water if you look it up in a dictionary if it was a word it should just say does it quiz that's what piss water means uh, it, it don't taste like anything there's the slightest slightest hint of some kind of malt that's giving a tiny little sweetness to this water. There's absolutely no bitterness whatsoever or finish for that matter of any kind of flavor at all on the end. Uh, it's absolutely shocking, it really is. Uh, the only other thing that I'm really detecting apart from the slightest hint of some sort of malt that tastes sweet is a tiny little dryness on the end minuscule as well and perhaps the and that's penis amount of sort of uh grassy hop uh, and uh, it's so minuscule uh really i had to sort of check that i didn't just pour myself a glass of water or something it's unreal even american light beers have got more flavor than this i mean it reminds me of an american light beer I think even Bud Light's got more flavour than this. It's unbelievable, really. I mean, I do understand some people just like beers they can slam down that don't really taste like much. If that's your thing, literally, you, you'll love this. It's um, it's just complete flavourless beer. That's what it is. You could knock them back in no time. It just don't taste like anything. It's just complete, unremarkable, pointless... But yeah, it really is. What's the purpose of it? It's it's absolutely shocking. I mean, the only... I mean, I try and look for the positive in everything, right? But one positive thing about this beer, uh, it's not disgusting. It's not disgusting. Um, it can't be labelled as disgusting because it, it literally don't taste like nothing. There's nothing to, like... Even if you don't like beer... Uh, you won't have a problem drinking this because it doesn't taste like beer. It literally do not taste like nothing. Um, another positive. Uh, it's got a little bit more flavour than water. Just. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I mean, as far as score goes out of 10. 1.5. Yeah, I, I was going to go zero. But I'm going to give it a 1.5 just because it ain't disgusting. You know, I would rather drink that than like a really disgusting beer because it don't taste like anything. You know what I mean? But um, I've got another five bottles of that to drink. Uh, I might just stick them in my stein and back it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Sorry it's not been a very good one. If you do go to Home Bargains and you walk past that beer, uh, save your money. Get something nice and refreshing, or something with a bit of flavour. Uh, I'd pretty much recommend any lager, pretty much over this. Um, yeah, it's very, it's very, very poor, very, very poor. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video, guys, and uh, let me know what you think of this beer if you've tried it. I'd uh, be dying to know if anybody actually enjoys this. Um, I'm really surprised if they do. And uh, see, just subscribe to the channel, guys. Uh, it's free, and it uh, you know it makes me feel special. And uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I hope you all have a really nice weekend. Enjoy that weather out there. To the next one, guys. Bye-bye, darlings.